I'm gonna give you five key lifts for developing mat strength and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, I'm Dave Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you are interested in becoming a better athlete, you wanna learn how to be more explosive, you wanna learn how to be stronger and become more coordinated, make sure you comment down below, you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell. So over the last decade, we have developed multiple NCAA All-Americans and we've worked with Nick Gwizdowski, who's a two-time world bronze medalist. He's won the Pan American Championship four different times. We work with multiple state champions in the state of Pennsylvania. And one of the biggest aspects behind our success in wrestling and the sport of wrestling is understanding what lifts transfer very, very well over to mat strength. And first of all, what is mat strength? Mat strength is that feeling that you get when you tie up with somebody, when you get that collar tie or when someone grabs your wrist or is looking for wrist control and you can feel that as a wrestler, you're going like, Oh, this guy is strong, he's explosive. He's got everything that it takes to apply the strength from the weight room and get it onto the mat. And we've got to remember, what are those key elements behind wrestling is the fact that we need to be explosive, we need to have angular movement, we need to have really, really good grip strength, and we've got to have good endurance so that we can apply our explosiveness and our strength later on in the match. So let's dive right into it. What's that first simple movement to increase your match strength? That is the single leg squat. Okay, so what is a single leg squat? If we can think about that, rear leg is gonna be elevated. It could be on a roller, it could be on a bench. That front leg is gonna put you into that split position. We're gonna have a barbell or a dumbbell or holding dumbbells, and we wanna hit very good deep reps. And the reason why this carries over so well to match strength is because you're learning how to change your levels. You're learning how to be strong in a unilateral position. Not only is this gonna help you to take a better shot, to change your level, take a better shot, but it also can help you if you're in a precarious position where your opponent has your leg and you're trying to scramble out of it. Now you've got the strength, you've got the mobility to apply a lot of force out of that bad position and get yourself into a better position to score. That second exercise to increase your explosiveness and your match strength is the cleans. This could be a power clean, it could be a full clean. We've got to learn how to make contact, okay? A lot of wrestling coaches and wrestling strength coaches have gotten away from Olympic lifts, have gotten away from cleans. And this is a travesty, this is terrible, because wrestlers need to use their hips. They need to learn how to apply force from their hips. They need to learn how to decelerate force and control with dynamic trunk control, okay? We need to understand that as coaches, as strength coaches, that it's very, very important for wrestlers to be explosive. A clean is gonna help you come off the mat if you're in referee's position. It's gonna help you be more explosive if you're looking to hit that good, strong double. It's also gonna help if somebody takes a shot, now you know how to absorb that energy and utilize it to your advantage. Utilize cleans, power cleans, or full cleans. Make sure you're making contact and it's gonna dramatically increase your power output and your match strength. Diving into that upper body work now, the third exercise I love to utilize to increase your match strength is weighted dips. Okay, so this is something that I wanna see most wrestlers do in our gym. We're gonna put 50 to 150 pounds around our waist, all the way up to the point where we've had 315 pounds hooked around a belt and we've hit that for a dip. And the reason why this transfers so well is because of the, the stretch that you're gonna get in your pecs, the stretch that you're gonna get in the triceps, and those are key muscles when we're talking about pummeling. We can push, we can control people. The stronger our pecs are, the more we can apply that force. Now we can control our opponents a lot easier. Dips also will carry over really, really well to collar ties into wrapping up a cradle, anything along these lines. It's going to dramatically increase your mat strength and your overall brute strength as well. Now we're diving into that grip work. We're gonna use plate flips. Okay, so plate flips are incredibly powerful for getting that wrist control, for, for getting a good strong collar tie, for getting, if you take a shot, you're going for a knee pick or anything like that. Now you've got that grip that you can hold on behind that joint and get control of what 
whatever you need to do to manipulate your opponent and continue to make progress on the mat. And the biggest aspect behind plate flips is that it's an explosive means of training your grip. And one of the secret things that we like to do is we like to hit plate flips for five to 10 reps. And then on the last rep, we like to hold and actually do shoulder raises. So now, not only are we gonna be training that explosive aspect of grip work, but we're also gonna be training that isometric aspect of grip work. These are two pivotal points with grip control. If we're explosive and we're going for a good wrist control here, that explosiveness helps us manipulate that arm. And then that isometric aspect lets our lats or our pecs take over so bigger muscle groups can try to control your opponent. Use plate flips at the end of every upper body workout to increase your grip control. What's my all time favorite lift that transfers over to mat strength? The rope climb. The rope climb is absolutely phenomenal. It's gonna train your trunk, it's gonna train your lats, it's gonna train your biceps, it's gonna train your grip, and it's absolutely incredible to utilize on a regular basis. We use a two inch rope. When we're using a two inch rope, it forces a little bit higher threshold motor unit recruitment from our prime movers, from our lats, from our biceps. And on top of that, it's gonna train our grip. If we're getting wrist control, if we're getting a collar tie, that two inch rope is gonna mimic what we're looking to do when we're trying to manipulate the arm or the leg. If we're getting an ankle pick, most ankles are about two to three inches thick and it's gonna transfer very, very well over to the mat. We've had an NCAA All-American at NC State, Pete Renda, do rope climbs when he was in high school with an 80 pound dumbbell. This is something that carries over really, really well to that mat strength. When you utilize weighted rope climbs, when you use, utilize the rope climbs for speed, it's going to increase what you're doing on the mat and it's going to dramatically improve your winning record. So if you want more information on wrestling, you can click on this card right here. You can head over to garageshank.com, pick up a 12 week preseason wrestling program. That's all for today, guys. Peace.